Hi all, this is second part of our GPS speed gauge app tutorial. If you haven't already, be sure to watch the first video and to visit my blog. In this video we will tie some loose ends from the last video. Here are the things we will do. We will get rid of the toolbar that is hiding our buttons. We will prevent the screen orientation on the phone. The screen will always be locked in portrait mode. Also, we will prevent needle from going too far. The limits will be 0 and 240 km per hour. Inside the main QML, you can see our toolbar layout. We have show toolbar property. Let's, let's change its value to false. Try out the app. It looks like it didn't work as we were hoping. Let's see. We can set the main page but without passing the toolbar to it. Now the toolbar is gone. In the design view you can see that status bar is pushing our background image down. You can see it by viewing the distance from buttons to the bottom. On top of the screen you can see the status bar for some reason the toolbar is also on top of the screen. By removing the toolbar we have lost the back button. Now we have no way of quitting the app. Let's copy this to clipboard. Switch to design mode, we will create a new button. By switching to main QML we can see that our button won't get covered by the status bar on top. The whole main page QML gets pushed down by the status bar. We are back in edit mode. Let's change the ID of the button to BTN exit. We will add the on clicked handler. We want to quit the app when we click on the button. Let's try it out. It works. We can see that we have trouble with rotation. Usually it is a good practice to make separate graphics for landscape and for portrait orientation. In our example we will prevent the rotation of the app. If you don't support landscape orientation, prevent the app from rotating. Inside main page QML I will add property orientation lock. The value will be page orientation lock portrait. This should prevent the page from rotating. Apparently this is not working on Symbian. I have tried this out on Migo and it works. Let's take a look at these warnings we have here. Reference error can't find variable status bar. It looks like they still haven't fixed this bug. I did a blog post about this. This is harmless bug but it annoys me. Just ignore it for now. If you know how to fix it, leave me a comment here on the blog. It looks like I have a typo here. Instead of false, I wrote F-A-L-E-S. Maybe this is why my simulator showed me status bar. Try to test this out and let me know how it goes. To stop the app from rotating, I have to add a line to main CPP file. I have copy pasted this line. You can just type it. Type viewer dot set orientation QML application viewer screen orientation log portrait. This line doesn't work on Migo devices. You have to use the page orientation dot log portrait. We have added this line earlier inside main page QML file. Let's build the app. We've got an error. Cannot open output file. Permission denied and ID returned one exit status. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Let's close all windows and try to clean the project. That didn't help. Maybe Simulator has protected a file and Qt Creator wants to write to it. I will kill the simulator. Now it works. Rotation is also fixed to portrait. No matter how I rotate my phone, orientation doesn't change. 
Now let's find our boundaries. I want to find out what is my minimum angle when the needle is showing 0 and what is my maximum angle when the needle is showing 240. I will change this to 1 so that my moves are smaller. There will be a lot of clicking involved. I can see that my needle is in the position 0 when the angle is minus 36. What is the angle for 240? After hitting plus for 250 times, I can see that maximum angle should be 220. Let's implement stops in my code. I will look for a needle and needle angle. I will use math functions provided by JavaScript here. I am looking for a minimum value from current angle and 220. This will be my right stop. If my angle is 230, it will take the smaller value, which is 220. Also, if the needle angle drops below minus 36 degrees, it will take the bigger value, which is minus 36. You can see that values in the needle angle is changing, but the needle is not rotating more than negative 36 degrees. Let's try in other direction. Even though the needle angle is more than uh, 220 degrees, the needle is stuck on 220 because of the math min function. We will add a spring effect to the movement of the needle. Let's bring this up to 10 so you can see better the effects of spring animation element. We want spring-like animation to take effect every time the angle changes. We will use behavior element for this. Type behavior on angle. This means every time angle changes, do something. We will run spring animation with some parameters. Spring describes how strongly the target is pulled towards the source. Dumping describes how quickly the spring-like motion comes to rest. A greater mass causes slower movement and a greater spring-like motion when an item comes to rest. You can read more about behavior element and spring animation in the learn more section of my blog post accompanying this video. Look for the link below the video. That's it for now. In our next tutorial I will add GPS to the app. The new tutorial will be available soon, stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my blog. If you like the video, please buy the app. You can like the video or plus one the blog post.